Let's talk about how you started Cole's Wild Bird products. Oh, so long ago. Was it? So long ago. Yes, when it was. When was it? When did you get started? Oh, gee, it was really the mid-80s. Yeah? And uh, uh, Nancy, my wife, and I started uh, getting into feeding the birds. And it was interesting. We, we, we were in an apartment on the second floor. So we had a feeder out there, and it was just a solid patio underneath. So we, every day I'd come home, and the same stuff would be gone out of the feeder, and the other stuff would be on the floor. And I'd see it. It's like, wait a minute. They're not eating this stuff. So I'd put out a pan, put stuff in and watch. And the same stuff would be missing each day. The same stuff would be left. I said, well, that's not right. What's, why don't they eat this bird seed? And uh, after doing some studying, I found out that, well, Bird seed's a name for seed birds like, but they call any seed bird seed. But birds have preferences, strong, strong preferences of what they'll eat. In general, little small round seeds and, and reddish seeds you see in a lot of bird seeds are not really liked by a lot of birds. Other birds do. Doves and grackles and things that eat on the ground really like millet and milo and things on the ground. That's fine. Up in a feeder, most birds that feed up off the ground were looking for something like sunflower, sunflower meats, which more emulates what they would find up in a tree area, nuts and berries and things and insects. Uh, sunflower meats is probably the number one bird feed because it's soft, it's nutritious, there's no shell. So things like wrens who can't crack shells can eat sun meats. But you get away from sun meats, you got sunflower seed, and a lot of birds love sunflower seed. And uh, then you get the millet and milo. Milo, some Western birds like it. It's not taken very much by Eastern birds. Uh, millet, a little bit around cream colored seeds. A lot of birds like that. Some of the birds that come up to feeders will eat it. They're at the feeder. But a lot of it gets chucked to the ground. And so, so you just started observing this, and then yeah. you started, and then you researched, and then you started to go out and buy the things that the birds like best, right? I did. I did. And I. Uh, it was like you said, uh, I looked and said, they don't eat this. Well, what's it doing in the bag? Yeah. So I started putting what they liked to eat out there and did samples of what in different trays to see what they would really take. And for the most part, sunflower meats was number one always, sunflower seed. And then you have some other specialty seeds like uh, uh, safflower and things that cardinals and some other birds really like. Uh, but other uh, things like squirrels and things don't care for it as much. Uh, blackbirds don't care for it as much. Oh, my goodness. That's an old picture. <laughs> yeah, and let's talk about it because you really kind of changed. Like you're on the front cover of a birding business. Yes. You've got those sacks, right, of birds. See, right there, and you were... But you were just boxing them up from your house, right? That was that that was that was in the house. We uh, we got we started doing the bird seed because somebody saw that we had a lot of birds. I was mixing my own because I didn't like what I was buying, and somebody saw it and they said they wanted some, and so I gave them some, and we just as a joke started packaging it up in our Sunday newspaper bags. Yeah, so they're a little bit bigger bags, so we'd package it up and twist tie it, yeah. and put a fake label on it, and. Oh, really? Sell it to neighbors and stuff. That's awesome. And that went on for a little while, and it just got more and more serious and because more and more people wanted it. And it just it grew up as a family business, grew up in a bedroom. That's an old back bedroom, a little third bedroom we were using in a that. small house. Yeah. And then it got more serious where <laughs> cases were going out the door. And it just. And you got the whole family involved, right? It's, uh, yeah. And it's, uh, we see, Nancy's in the middle. Nancy yeah, wasn't, we could go Nancy back wasn't to that no, for a okay. Nancy's in the middle, and uh, so me and her uh, got this thing started. Uh, my daughter Elaine, uh, to the right of Nancy, there is uh, the president of Coles, and she does a great job running the operation now. Uh, her husband is behind her, Tony, and uh, there's Richard standing in the back. My, <laughs> my son Michael, looking much taller than me, <laughs> is on my left. And uh, he's uh, uh, has a PhD in chemistry. He works out in California, and so we don't get to see him as much as we'd like to. But he gets in here a few times a year. Yeah. And there's a granddaughter and grandson. And, but uh, but it's a true family business. It is a family and business. We the all part in. that I love the most about the whole story yeah. is that yeah. you started seeing how successful this was. Yeah. 
And didn't you go out and try to get stores to carry it? And they were like, no. And then you tried to get your own stores, and the people at the bank were like, are you kidding yeah. me, right? <laughs> that you you think you can sell bird seed and have yeah. a specialty store? And now, yeah. wow. Yeah, it was uh, trying to get trying to get bird seed into a store. Because, you know, stores, if you have a product and you come with some, something new, you go to a store, they've seen it a million times. A million people come to the door and say, oh, you've got to sell this. This is great. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. So your chance of getting in the stores is very small. You've got to show them something. Uh, we finally got, we got into some small stores at the beginning and like, and that was good. We couldn't go fast. We were making this yeah. in a back bedroom yeah. and then the garage. And it just got slowly but surely over the years, it just grew bigger and bigger and bigger. And the word of mouth started getting around. And so more and more stores started picking it up. Uh, along the way, we decided uh, we wanted to, drop the corporate world and uh, go out on our own. I think everybody has a dream like that. Yeah. And uh, we decided to open a bird store with things like the feeders and, and other things like bird baths and identification books and, of course, our bird seed. Yeah. And because we could sell more of it than anybody else could because we knew what it was about. And uh, it took a few years of planning and all and, and uh, trying to get money to open a store was hilarious because, as you said, we, we went to a bank and we said, we want to open a store, sell bird seed. And they just look at you with this blank stare. Like, yeah, right. Yeah. I <laughs> yeah. remember you telling yeah. me that story. Yeah. And I thought, how brave and yeah. how, like, just absolutely courageous yeah. was that, yeah. that, you know, they're looking at you like, uh, and I think you said that somebody said, there's no way that people are going to, like, yes. go in a specialty store and buy bird seed. And now look at yes. today. Yes. And uh, we got we got one store started, and it, it was successful. And then we opened another one. And then we ended up uh, doing uh, five stores. And uh, now we have retired from that business, and uh, our employees bought us out. And so they're they're happily owning the bird stores, and we are totally dedicated to the bird seed business. And it's grown and grown and grown over the years. It's national product now. It can be found in many places. Hello, this is Richard Cole. I want to thank each of you for watching, and I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to share it.